Hey guys, it's Mr. Decker, and we're looking at Code.org Express Lesson 1, Programming with Angry Birds. We were, are going to do the full unit with this uh, playlist, so this is just the first one. We've got a long way to go, but we should probably just go ahead and get started. All right. So first things first, let's watch this little video. By the way, uh, I do have a whole Express series for the 2020 curriculum, but we're updating this, the whole unit, all of the Express lessons for the 2023-24 school year. So if you're new to the channel or you are new to uh, code.org, I hope you enjoy your time and I hope this is helpful. For this puzzle, we're going to be dragging out all of the blocks together and clicking run to watch it go. So for this one, we've got to get this little angry bird over to the, uh, let go. Oh, let go, let go, over to the pig. And I just need to do this and this. He's going to move twice, one, two times. And just like that, we've got it. Let's go to let's go to the next puzzle. All right, so we're going to be dragging an extra move forward block out of the toolbox to finish this code. So uh, we need to go one, two, three times. So I'm going to connect these two and connect this one from out of the toolbox. I just click and drag that out. Let's run it. The sound effects. Sound effects. Really special. <laughs> All right, this pig is ruffling my feathers. There is one extra block that is going to cause the bird to crash. Throw it away by unhooking it from the gray box and dragging it back to the toolbox. So we're going to be tossing some code away. So first thing he needs to do is move forward. So that's good. And then moving forward again is going to crash him into that wall right there. So I'm going to pull this off, take this out, throw it into the trash, take this, turn left, move forward, move forward. That should do it. We got it, first try. All right, bubble five. We're gonna trace the path and lead the angry bird to the silly pig. Avoid the TNT or feathers will fly. I kind of want to see that just to, just to find out what that's going to do. It was worth it just for the sound effect, I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm going to drag this back out. He needs to turn right to face down. And he's going to move forward again. That will put him here. And then he needs to turn left and move forward again. So the, the trick to it really is just tracking where the where the bird is going to be with each step that you're telling him to move. So for this one, move forward, move forward. So two move forwards. And that is going to put him right there. Then he needs to turn left. 
and then move forward twice. And we got it. I like that it's just like Mario jumping on a Goomba. Apparently a bird jumping on a pig just annihilates the pig. Like in real life, you know? Let's see. So first, let's turn right. We're going to go the bottom path. And then he's going to move forward. And he needs to turn left. And he's going to be facing this way on this spot so far. So one, two, three. Let's use a repeat. Three. We'll move forward in that. That will get us right here. Then he needs to turn left and move forward again. Come on. Let me grab it. Post excellent, sir. All right. Level eight. It's time to get angry. Challenge. This code has a lot of bugs. You'll need to remove some blocks and add others. So first, you need to move forward one, two times. That's there. Then turn right. That's good. So we're right here, facing down. Move forward once. Let's see. Let's get rid of this guy. And then he'll turn left to be facing this way. And then move forward and turn right and go forward three times. One, two, three. So we'll get rid of this. And then he needs he's facing down right here. So he needs to turn right and then move forward one more time. I think that'll get it. Come on, come on, come on. Don't film me now. Pop. All right. Let's head on over to bubble nine. Keep calm and help me find the pig. So in this case, we need to move forward. And we're going to turn right. So we're facing up right here. So one, two, three, four. So we'll repeat four, move forward. Then we're going to turn right and move forward one more time. Good, get it. And we're doing this, if you pay attention in the workspace, or rather above the workspace, it tells you how many blocks of code it will limit you to. You want to make sure that all of your bubbles up here that are keeping track of your progress are dark green or this Kelly green color. If they're light green or just have a green circle around a white circle, uh, you need to back yourself up and you need to try again, right? Always try to do it in the number of blocks it tells you to or less. Always, 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 every time. All right, let's go to bubble 10. A prediction this time. Okay, so read through the code below very carefully. What will happen when you click run? So he's going to turn left to face down and left again to face this way. Uh, then he's going to move forward into this space. Then he's going to turn left, move forward, move forward, move forward. So he's actually going to get to the pig, I think. One, two, three. Correct. All right. Now help me sneak up on the pig any way we want to. Okay, so for this one, let's see. I'm going to have him face down, so we'll have him turn right first. And I'm going to use a repeat. One, two, just two, I think. Move forward, and then he needs to turn, he's facing down, so he needs to turn left. And then I'm going to have him move forward one, turn right, move forward. And I think that's going to get him to right here. I just want to test that. Just testing it. I'm not done yet.
Thank you, Pigs. I appreciate it. You can laugh all you want to. I'm about to get this guy. All right. So he's going to move. He's going to turn left. And then we're going to use a repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat five times. Move forward. Let's see if that gets it. I sometimes I'm not even sure who I'm supposed to root for. What I don't know the. I just know that I I myself I guess am the angry bird in this scenario. I'm just being led to stomp on these pigs, but I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. All right, uh, we got to get to this pig. There's many ways to do it. Use your finger path to help you program. All right. So in this case, um, trying to think of the path of least resistance here. Let's move forward one, two, three times. We'll use a repeat for that. And then we're going to turn right. That will get us facing down. And then we're going to move forward once. And we're going to turn left. Now we're facing this way. Uh, one, two, then we need to turn right, and we need to move one, two more times, that gets us here, facing down, we need to turn right, and then we'll move forward twice, I think, I think. That will do it. Let's see. So far, so good. We got it. All right. Last one, last challenge. Level 13, sometimes there's more than one way to solve the same problem. Sometimes it's faster to go backwards than it is to go forwards. Oh, move backward. I like that. New block. We're going to move backwards twice. That puts us here. Then we're going to turn left. Facing down, we're going to move forward twice. Then we need to turn right. And then we're going to move forward twice. And that should get us to the pig. Moonwalking or moon hopping. Let's get him. Sweet. All right. That finishes Angry Birds. Next lesson, we'll, we'll do lesson two, debugging in maze. And I'll see you right back here for that one.